Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another tutorial video. And a lot of fans have asked me, how do you calibrate the IMU after updating to the latest firmware? The latest firmware being the, the Phantom 3 firmware that was released in September of 2015 that introduced the new intelligent flight modes, point of interest, follow me, waypoints, etc. So I can show you where it is. It's, it's uh, Obviously we're using a different app now. We're using DJI Go app instead of DJI Pilot app that was originally used. It's quite similar, but it's a little bit different. So to get to IMU calibration, and obviously I've got everything powered on and paired here, and my Phantom 3 Professional is on a flat surface. That's very important. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna click this little icon up here. It looks like the little drone. See the, the second one from the left, right to the right of the house. You click that. Once you click that, you're then going to go to the top icon here, which looks like a drone also, see it? And you're going to scroll down to where you see sensors. See that? Sensors? You're going to click sensors. Once you select sensors, then what you're going to do is scroll down. There's an option here that says IMU calibration. You're going to click IMU calibration. It says, please make sure the aircraft has been turned off for five minutes. And that's important. Make sure it's really cool. Keep the aircraft stationary and level during calibration. Otherwise, you will have to recalibrate. Calibration will take five to ten minutes. Please be patient. So we're going to hit OK. Please keep the aircraft stationary and level. Otherwise, IMU will have to be recalibrated. OK. IMU calibration in progress. It's got a little percentage bar there. Uh, what I like to do is actually uh, time the uh, the process. So it says about 10 minutes. I'll set this to about 10 minutes here. Bam. So when that gets to 10 minutes, then hopefully this will be finished. Uh, something I have found with uh, with previous. Phantom 3 uh, IMU calibrations is that often the the estimated time that it gives it's often a lesser amount of time. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see the percentage bar. You can see it's on 10% uh, right now. So I you know I'm one of these people I like to uh, I like to show the entire process. So while this is going, I'll just talk about some drone stuff and. And uh, you know, if you want to fast forward the video, you can if you're the impatient type, or if you want to hear some potentially entertaining and, and or possibly educational information, you can continue to listen. Uh, so one thing I want to say is be sure to check out 400orbelow.com. Uh, that's my website where I feature an abundance of drone how-tos. Uh, you can find drones and drone accessories there. Uh, my objective is to just really make this, uh, to make this hobby easier to understand for the masses by putting everything in one centralized location being 400 or below.com uh, so check that out I've got uh, actually this tutorial you'll find on 400 or, or below.com as well as an abundance of other tutorials that I've already posted and this is an ongoing process and one of the best things about drones and and especially the the Phantom series which I've grown to love is that it's like most any other technology, you know, we're still in the infancy and it's, uh, as I mentioned previously, I like to compare this to the bag cell phone days. Remember you used to have a big bag with a cell phone in it back in the 80s? Well this is kind of like that. I mean we're in the infancy of drones and although it seems like a, uh, a very high tech technology, it's, uh, it's still in its infancy so it's good to be able to have hands-on with with the various versions of drones and I started with Phantom 1 and then I moved to Phantom 2 Vision Plus had two of those I crashed one into a tree it was my own fault not any sort of equipment failure and then I had the uh, Phantom 2 and you can find all uh, find all the videos for all of these on 400 or below com but the Phantom 2 I pieced together a uh, pieced together an FPV solution a first person view solution and I was using the Phantom 2 for uh, for my first 4K video drone. And I really enjoyed it. And obviously now, 
I'm using the uh, Phantom 3 Professional and, and the Phantom 3 Professional and today, you know, today being September 2015 is my favorite drone on the market today. And all of these drones, don't, my best advice is to don't get, don't become frustrated if you have troubleshooting challenges. You know, look at those troubleshooting challenges as an opportunity to better learn the technology because it's still a new technology. And if you're not willing to embrace those technological challenges, then don't become involved with the hobby. Because there's a lot of people that simply like to bash drones and, and if they don't like to bash drones, they like to misuse drones, you know, fly them irresponsibly and it's, it's just bad for the hobby as a whole. So if, you, if you're really passionate about enjoying a new hobby and learning something and, and sharing, uh, sharing those lessons learned with others, then you may really enjoy the, uh, the hobby of, of flying drones. And I would highly recommend, at the time of posting this video, the, uh, the DJI Phantom 3, uh, just because it is the most current version of the Phantom series, which I feel is the best drone on the market today, in my opinion. And uh, that's interesting. So it said it said finished, and the calibration has finished. So that was it. I mean, it you just watch your um, watch your status bar, and it goes to 100%, and it'll say finished. And sure enough, it did. And and now the IMU calibration is complete. So again, be sure out of best practice, be sure to always run that IMU calibration anytime you perform a firmware update and again be sure your drone is cool uh, be sure it's on a on a flat surface and it should uh, it should hopefully better improve the performance of your Phantom 3 because it is uh, and I found with with previous firmwares if I didn't run the IMU calibration that it would result in a uh, truly unreliable flight experience where the camera may be slanted and those sorts of things. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and again check the link within this video's description and visit 400 or below.com because I've got a lot of goodness there pertaining to drones. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.